Hello, and welcome back to Noble Panda, where today we are going to be taking on the month of August and September in our schedule. Just want to thank everybody for the support on the video so far in the first game we're taking on Viking here. Early on in this game, we find Vashandi, who takes a wonderful shot, but it happens to get blocked by the thigh of the defender. And then right after that, Viking gets a shot. Madsen gets a block on it, but it bounces through him and they get the goal. Here's Bashandi trying to pass the ball inside. It gets deflected back out to Bashandi again, who then takes a shot and it's just wide of the goal. Here we have Viking making another attack here. Trying to find an opening and it looks like they are going to split my defense right down the middle and get a nice shot on goal. He was offsides. Here we go, finding Andresen who got through the defense with some pace, and he gets his first goal. At halftime, we find ourselves in a tie, 1-1. Second half, it was everything we could do. Madsen was a stud, blocking shot after shot after shot. Finally, we get our opportunity to attack here. Bashandi crosses it all the way over to Abubakar, who just puts it outside. Here's Abubakar passing it back into Bashandi, a nice little duo we've got going on there. And that is just wide. Here is Viking once again, finding an opening in our defense, and that was way too easy. Here we go, Bashandi, finding an opportunity, and he just put the ball wide. Here we go, another... S oh, wow. Couldn't even defend that. Late in the game, we get a consolation goal here to make the scoreline look a little bit better, as we end up losing 3-2 to Viking. We are going to be simulating some games this episode. As you see right there, we simulated the game against odds. Khaled Bashandi is an Egyptian talent that we have found. He is going to become a cam right now, and he goes up a couple points. Here's another game we simulated against Sarpsborg. We ended up winning 1-0. We also simulated against Sandefjord. We lost 2-1 to them. The games that I have been simulating are games against teams that are lower than us in the table. Right now, just want to play the games against the higher teams and see what kind of ground we can make up and how close we can get to those European qualifying spots. Here we go early in this game against Stromgod set. Andresen pokes the ball up over to Martinsen and he puts it just wide on the header. Here's Andresen making another run all the way across to Asen, and he doesn't quite get it. He gets another opportunity and just wide. Uh-oh, we stepped up a little too much here on our defense, and we happen to tackle him just outside of the box, and so no a penalty was awarded there. Here's Andersen finding Martinsen, who takes a powerful shot and puts it right into the back of the net. Here's Anderson making his run down the right hand side, passing the ball all the way over to Austin who finally gets his goal. And we are up 2-0 on Strong God set. Here we go, blew up our defense wide open, left the goal wide open and they put a shot on it and it bounces off the crossbar. Apparently we're not the only bad players in the game, as we lead 2-0 against Strong God set at halftime. Coming out of halftime. It was everything we could do once again to try to stop Stromgod Set's attacking runs. Here we go, finding an opportunity in the 70th minute here. Andresen kicks the ball over to Anderson, and the goalie uses his calf to block it. Here we go. Oh, what a fancy pass there, but luckily Madsen was up to the task to defend it. Here we've got Magyar who came in as a substitute, passing the ball into Anderson who has it blocked yet again. But we were able to hold on and get our 2-0 victory. Sebastian Andresen is our homegrown talent that we had when we started the game. He has grown to a 72 so far this season and uh, he's really impressed me. I wish he was a little bit faster but not too bad. And here's Nico Madsen, who is our goalkeeper, growing, but he doesn't have any potential on him at the moment. Early in this game against Braun, they make a silly mistake and tackle us from behind, earning them a red card. 
and this game did nothing but turn against us. All they did was press the entire game. I would sit back and try to find counterattack opportunities, but it was shot after shot that just seemed to go in for them. We did get the game close on this penalty opportunity. Here's Martinson trying to find an opportunity to get a lead, but it gets deflected by the goalie there. And he's not happy about that. But at halftime, it is 1-1. But don't worry, it only gets worse. Right off our goalie and into the net. And Madsen's not a bad goalie, but I don't think that should have gone in. And apparently their goalie is a stud. Until we get an opportunity that put us offside. Here we go, passing the ball through to Martinson, who gets double lucky. Off the glove, off the post, and in. That had two opportunities to not go in, and somehow it survived. We got the game to 2-2, and then the race was on. 3-2. So it's 4-2. Oh, here comes 5-2. But they just kept pressing the whole game. And it was a challenge as we lose 4-2 to SK Braun. A 10-man side SK Braun. Here we've got this game against Christian which I was totally willing to play until I realized we were both in dark colored jerseys and that was going to be a pain in the butt for you guys to watch and for me to play. So, quick sim to that one. Stabek, top defense in the Elite Siren. Myondolan, best offense in the Elite Siren. What do we have coming up in this matchup? Something has to give. And it's Kalad Beshandi with an opportunity that gets blocked. And then using that minute 5-6 frame of Kalad Beshandi, he gets the header one and finds an opportunity to pass it back in and Martinson gets a shot on goal. And then Staubeck counters and gets the tying goal. And then no less than three minutes later, Staubeck finds another opportunity and puts it right past us into the goal. Three minutes after that, we find Andresen, who's running down the pitch and finds the opportunity to put it in. And within the span of 10 minutes, we have four goals. And here's Bashandi trying to catch the goalie out of position, just a bit too high. Here's an opportunity in the 40th minute, getting the ball over to Andresen, who then puts the shot with a little bit of finesse, but just wide. Here we go. Bashandi with the ball into Jiang Martinson, and then Martinson takes the opportunity and it got deflected by the goalie. Martinson again with another opportunity to get deflected. And at halftime, after that flurry of goals, we have ourselves a 2-2 game still. Trying to create an opportunity, and there's Bashandi once again winning a header, passing it all the way out to Johansson, who then kicks the ball in to Martinson, who gets his goal to give us the 3-2 lead against Thabak. Here's Martinson kicking the ball out to Asen. Asen passes it into the middle to Andresen, and he has an easy shot to get his second goal of the game. Here's Bashandi once again in the right position, getting the ball into Andresen. Out to Andersen, who gets his goal off the post. And that gets us 5-2 victory against Thabek. Alright, so in the next episode, we're going to take care of the month of October November and December finishing out our season. I want to thank y'all so much for watching. Hope y'all are having a great day. And we'll see you next time here on Noble Panda.